Morning pa lang, I knew that it was going to be a really good day. The sun was out, I had pasta cooking on the stove, my focaccia dough was ready, and I'll be using my new Gabor 5-liter electric stove air fryer. My aunts were coming over for a visit, so syempre I wanted them to try my focaccia bread. So it was really the perfect time to test my new Gabor air fryer. And the recipe for the focaccia bread is on my third world kitchen TikTok playlist. While we let this dough rest, allow me to show you a 360 view of this white electric beauty. Just look at that. Perfectly white with gems of gold. It also came with air fryer recipes. Nice! After the dough rested for an hour, I just drizzled olive oil on top and dimpled it with my fingers. Truth be told, I totally forgot to put salt and rosemary on top. But it still came out really good. And since it was my first time to use the Gabor air fryer, tinatansya ko lang yung temperature and time. I set it at 200 for 20 minutes. Dapat pala mga 15 minutes lang. And while the bread was cooking, I started prepping the aromatics for the pasta. This is just garlic, onions, and red and green bell peppers. I wish you could smell the bread cooking through the screen. The house smelled really good this morning. Siguro mga tatlong tries na lang ng pagbe-bake ng focaccia, mape-perfect ko na talaga to. I know, sometimes parang ang babaw ng kaligayahan ng mga stay-at-home moms. Pero mind you, this is one of the best forms of love. When the timer went off, I took the bread out of the air fryer and medyo sunog yung top part. But don't judge a book by its cover and popped it right back in after I flipped it over. Just a few minutes more at 150 degrees. I just want the bottom to crust a little. It came out so perfect. I just flipped it over and started slicing. I know I should have let it rest first, but I couldn't help myself because I was too excited to see the inside. Just look at that, soft and pillowy. And in my opinion, focaccia bread is best paired with pasta dishes. I'm so thankful for today's technology, kasi kahit wala kang oven sa bahay, you can still make your own bread with a small kitchen appliance like an air fryer. Then my aunts called to say that they were on their way, so I started setting the table. May dala din daw silang food and cake, so I was pretty excited. Two of my aunts that are coming over pala are my mom's siblings, and yung dalawa, asawa ng mga uncles ko. Pero yung isang auntie ko dito late, siya pa naman yung super excited na pumunta dito sa bahay. And then finally, dumating na rin yung isa, and since this was 11 na, we said grace and started eating. Birthday din pala ng lola ko na nasa heaven na. So this was such a timely get-together. My aunts and I used to have frequent lunch dates nung nasa pugaan pa kami nakatira ng mga bata. But since we moved to Suarez, although they visit from time to time, medyo madalang na yung pagkikita namin. So I really appreciate that they took the time to visit me today. Kasi kahit gano tayo ka-introverted, namimiss din pala natin yung interaction with other adults. And here, I just shared with them some of the gifts that I received from brands on Christmas. And what I really like about these ladies is that gano man kaliit o kalaki, mahal o hindi yung ibibigay mo sa kanila, they are always grateful. So pag minsan marami yung natatanggap ko from brands, I always share it with them. Unless it's chocolates and cake. Here, dahil busog na, chika-chika na muna. And another thing that I really appreciate about these ladies is that they always give me encouragement and pull me closer to the Lord. They were my support system when my mom passed away. I'm pretty sure my neighbors were wondering, but ang ingay ng bahay? Kasi usually, kung titingnan mo sa labas, parang walang tao yung bahay namin all the time. My heart was full when they left at around 3 p.m. Sa susunod ulit, yung Gabor 5-liter air fryer, nasa TikTok shop ko pala. Yun na lang muna, bye!